Well, it's 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 interesting to us about your you know find your story because you were you were a nurse, so you know like you were in conventional medicine, so your beliefs were probably yeah. along yeah. the same belief system as them, but then you know that that switched something went off in your mind during your 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 uh, struggles that said hey they don't have the answer yeah. yeah it's not working it's not you know hearing you yes oh my gosh exactly yes so, so it got to the point where i had a bit of an attitude when i would go to the doctors i was pretty mad i was very angry because with every part of my being i knew I knew that just the effort that it took to go to the appointment and to sit there, I was angry because I knew there was more out there. And I kind of knew that they weren't, I mean, it wasn't, what, what was happening wasn't working. We did physical therapy, we did regular therapy, right? It's all in your head, your body's attacking itself. And they said basically all these things. So here's your, here's your medication, let's just start that. <laughs> And it just, at, at one point I was on, you know, steroids, immunosuppressants. They sent me to the pain clinic. So what, you know, my rheumatologist didn't even want to see me anymore for the fibromyalgia. He basically said, you have to go to the pain clinic. So what happened? I got put on pain medications of all things to take that just bogged my liver down more, right? It depressed me more. And I got to a point where I literally felt like I needed the meds just to have a good quality of life. And I had convinced myself that I was going to have to take these forever. And that was so depressing to think about. And then when it got to the point where I was healing and cleansing my body and getting on Anthony's information, what happened was when I took the information to my rheumatologist, he was like a specialist at VCU in Richmond. And um, I told him my plan and he basically shot me down and told me that it would never work. Mm -hmm. And so mm -hmm. I did what I had to do and I never went back and saw him. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> you put all your trust and control into the professionals and sometimes it just um, leaves you with no answers and we're all kind of searching for answers when we don't feel well, right? I know I totally went on that hunt. I wanted answers. I wanted diagnoses and I wanted answers. And once I got the diagnosis for me, the big ones were fibromyalgia, rheumatoid arthritis, depression, anxiety. Then it was kind of like a life sentence, right? I was like, okay, well, I mean, if he's not going to help me and the same thing with my medications, none of my doctors would help me wean off. And that was terrifying. I knew as a registered nurse, I'd be able to wean off of all my meds safely and I could do it, but it was nerve wracking because I'm taking care of this child, right? My husband's away at work. And so ha that was a big responsibility for me to have to do. So I slowly weaned myself off of, um, my benzodiazepine first and then birth control pill went out the window and I got off the steroids slowly. I got off the immunosuppressants and I slowly worked one by one and weaned myself off as I started um, my cleansing with medical medium. But here's the deal. We're not teaching how to treat the root cause. We're not teaching food as medicine, plants as medicine. And let me tell you guys, I was a pharmacy tech before becoming a nurse 10 years ago. I worked in a pharmacy setting for eight years. I did retail pharmacy for years and then I worked in a hospital setting for five years. So I used to trust medications very heavily. I actually wanted to be a pharmacist before I decided I wanted to go to nursing school and I really wanted to interact with people more. Why am I sharing this? Because I see it all the time in my line of work. I see people leaving the hospital or their doctor's offices and going about their daily lives with no clue how to heal themselves. They don't even think that that's possible. They're looking for a diagnosis and then they're listening to what the doctors are saying. And, 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 and here's the deal. I'm not saying that doctors are, are bad. They're certainly well-educated and well-meaning and they want to help, but there's very little education when it comes to nutrition and how to truly help you and get to the root cause.
And that's a big thing that I tell people is once you start cleansing, you'll know. You can start to wean off medications when the time is right. You will know. Yeah. And, um, you know, you could tell your doctor about it, of course, absolutely. I do work with some doctors with clients, but ultimately what you eat and what you take and what you put in your mouth is up to you. You don't need somebody in a white coat to tell you what to eat and what, and what to do with your body. And I think that's a big thing I am passionate about, like you were saying, Ben, because I was so like gung-ho, let's, let's go see the doctor, let's go do all the things. And I slowly realized, oh boy, like they don't have all the answers and they are not serving me well at this point. And I didn't understand it at the time, but that's where the anger came from. And so, yeah, there's so much to say about that. But um, uh, I mean, even our medical schools, uh, you know, I've talked with doctors about it. They, um, unfortunately, they don't really teach them nutrition. Uh, and you should see the foods that they give people in hospitals. It's, it's horrifying. Um, but yeah. I just want to say that if you've been told that you have a diagnosis, it is not a life sentence. It's not. It's just the beginning and you are going to rise and come above it. Even when it doesn't feel like it, you will. And I'm here to help you through it. And um, sorry if that all kind of seemed kind of like, eh, like, like, negative stuff but but it's it's the real world right there's so many people suffering and i was there once and i think we all um need a change right there's a big movement now with the celery juicing and with plant-based foods and with healing our bodies like you are the healer you are the ultimate healer you have the power to change your life, whether that is you want to become more um, emotionally stable and work on some emotional detox, you want to work on the physical body, you want to do it all. You certainly have that will within you. You have free will to do that. And I'm here to help empower you so that you can get there.